Despite posting its largest quarterly loss of subscribers in history, Netflix is still surprised to the upside. The company lost 970,000 subscribers, but that number is far fewer than the expected loss of 2 million. The company said that it expects to add around a million subscribers in the third quarter, which is below Wall Street's expectation of 1.8 million. And its guidance of $2.14 a share is also lower than Wall Street's $2.72 a share. Despite all of that, though, analysts at Steeple upgraded the stock to a buy from a hold and boosted the price target to $250 from $240. The analysts believe that Netflix is approaching a period of stabilization in its subscriber base, meaning that investors don't have to continually worry about the sub losses and can instead focus on the company's attempt to grow through the ad supported tiers. Alongside Netflix, the crew stocks are getting a boost now that the Center for Disease Control ended its COVID-19 program. Cruise lines can now create and enforce their own testing vaccine and quarantining policies. The CDC had previously switched the program to voluntary from mandatory, but it still required the passengers be tested as well as encouraging vaccines. Ships will still receive guidance from the CDC for the handling of any COVID-19 cases on board, but the requirements will be up to the companies. And finally, the demand for mortgages has dropped to a 22-year low as the U.S. battles high inflation and consumers are hit by rising interest rates. The Mortgage Bankers Association showed that demand for mortgages dropped 6% last week in comparison to the week prior, which marks the lowest level since 2000. With looming Federal Reserve meeting where investors expect the Fed to hike by around 75 basis points, mortgages will be in focus. As will housing inventories, which are already rising. Home building is also slowing, with builders breaking ground on 982,000 homes in June, which is down from 19% from back in February. Stick with the street for more.